If you are in need of speeding up your scrubbing and playback in your timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro with 4K and 8K footage, I'll show you how to do that. Without proxies, your experience is likely similar to this. Okay, let's discuss how to create the proxies. Let's go into Adobe Media Encoder and let's go over the encoding preset and ingest preset. The encoding preset basically determines the quality and other aspects of your proxy. The ingest preset is basically a link from Adobe Premiere Pro to the encoding preset. Let's create an encoding preset. Let's call it encode 540p for the resolution. Q1 for the quality. Format QuickTime. Based on preset, let's select GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit. The codec will be GoPro Cineform. Quality, let's lower it to 1. Height and width, we need to change this to 960 by 540. Frame rate, we'll leave that checked to match the original source. The field order, let's change it to progressive and aspect will be 1.0. You have the option of using an image overlay or a name overlay so you can quickly identify when and when you are not using the proxies in your timeline. We'll leave this empty for now. Click OK. And now let's create the ingest preset. Let's name this ingest 540p q1. The only thing that we have to worry about here is selecting the preset, which is the one that we just created, encode 540p Q1. Click OK. So now that we created the encode and ingest presets, we need to take note of where those files are. Right click on either one of the two that we just created and select reveal preset file. Just take note on where these files are here. You can even copy it for quick reference. Let's go back into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we see on our timeline the playback is still very choppy. Let's see if creating the proxies will improve this. So go to your project window here. Highlight all of your video clips. Right click, select proxy, create proxies add ingest preset and now we want to look for the files that we just created and here they are select the ingest preset click on open and for my preference I choose to select the top option on destination and click OK so once we do that if we go back into Adobe Media Encoder you'll see it'll queue up all of my video files here and it'll begin creating those proxies. Okay, it looks like our last proxy was just finished creating. Let's go back into Adobe Premiere Pro and let's discuss how to toggle on and off the proxies. So on the right side of your program window, click on the button editor and you'll see the proxy icon right here. Let's drag this down and click OK. So our proxies are created. We can see that they are attached right here in our project window. However, they are not toggled on yet. So as we scrub through, 
playback is still very choppy. Let's go ahead and click this button here. This will toggle on our proxy as we can see from our overlay here, which is also customizable. And now let's take a look at our playback. Significant improvement. So I hope this video helps you a lot. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'll try to reply to each and every one. Just leave it here in this uh, video here. Thanks.